Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to check out the Azul Access 3 Fanless Mini PC. This might be the best streaming device so far in 2019. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we have the Azul Access 3 Fanless Mini PC stick. This is a Windows 10 PC stick. And let's take a look around the box right quick. We'll see here it says technology inspired by real people. And on the back here it says the Access 3 Fanless Mini PC stick. And you can see it says it runs Windows 10 Pro. It has a quad core Intel Gemini Lake in, uh, 4100 uh, processor. It has four gigs of RAM. It has 32 gigs of storage and it, it uh, can handle 4K at 60 frames resolution and it has two USB 3 ports on there. So that's really nice to see. So if we take a look at the uh, other side here, we see, well, nothing really. So that's just a quick look around it. Let's go ahead and actually get this thing. Um, let's take the plastic off of here and unbox this thing and see what comes inside. So we will slide this open here and see what comes in it and look at that so there we go we have some uh, we have some paperwork here that we can take a look at uh, let's see we have uh, it's a quick guide there kind of tells us uh, how to use everything so you can see the connections and we'll actually take a look at the connections on the device you can see here we can uh, get ten dollars off our next purchase which is sort of nice there and then let's open this up and there we go that is the pc stick right there that is pretty slick looking i have to say i really like the look of that so um yeah there we go you can see that it has the two usb ports right there it has the power port there the power button to turn it on and on this side we actually have a little lock there look at that there's a little lock so that we can uh we can lock this thing down if we need to to a table or something and then we have an ethernet port so you can connect directly into your router. And we also have a headphone jack right there so that we can uh, actually plug right in to with our headphones and listen privately if we need to. And it has an antenna. So there we go. You can use that there to catch the Wi-Fi a little bit better. So this thing is really, really nice. And uh, I think that this is gonna perform nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just see what else is in the box here. And then we're going to test this out. So we're gonna plug this in. Let's see if we can get this back in properly. And I think it goes this way. <laughs> there we go. So we'll see what else comes in the box here. And then we're going to test this out, hook it up, see what, see what else this thing can do. Um, so this is a USB, or excuse me, a uh, HDMI cable here. And this is actually an HDMI, um, an HDMI extender cable. So if you need to actually extend this out a little bit, you can plug this actually into here. And then from here, let's see if I can do this right. So we can plug this in there like that. And then you can plug the other end into your computer uh, monitor or to your TV set. So we have that there. So we'll take that out, put this back, uh, put this back in the, in the box there. And then here we have a power cable. So it's pretty basic. It's a, uh, it's a micro USB cable here. So nothing uh, overly exciting, um, you know, basic stuff there. And uh, yeah, this is interesting. This right here actually pushes off and you can actually change this out. So if you're in a different region, you can, um, you can actually use this with different plugs. You just have to get the different attachment for it. So this is really nice because if you travel and you don't want to have to worry about ch carrying a bunch of adapters, you can just swap this out before you leave and then slide it in there and you're ready to go. So anyways, that's the Azul Access 3. Let's actually hook this thing up and uh, see what it can do and uh, how it performs. All right, so there we have it. We were able to see what comes inside the box when you buy the Azul Access 3. And let me tell you now a few things that I really like about this device. First up is that unlike other streaming devices like the Fire Stick and some of these other boxes and streaming uh, devices like the Apple TV and such, that the Azul Access 3 has lots of ports on there. 
you have two USB ports, you have an Ethernet port, you even have a micro SD slot in there so that you can add a micro SD card in there. So you're able to expand your storage by adding a micro SD card in there. You can also expand your storage by using a USB thumb drive or you can transfer files to and from the device using a, a USB thumb drive or the micro SD card. And if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, maybe your Wi-Fi is slow and instead you want to use your Ethernet port, your landline, so that you can get as fast of internet speed as possible, you can plug right into the Ethernet port because it's built in. So the last thing that I want to mention that I really like about the Azul Access 3 is that because it runs a full version of Windows 10, it has a true, fully functioning, full featured web browser in here, which means you can do so much more than you can with just a regular streaming device. Other streaming devices like the Fire Stick or the Apple TV, some of them come with web browsers, but they're not fully featured web browsers. You can't download stuff. You can barely stream stuff. But with the Azul Access 3, it is a full web browser, so you can download TV shows and movies, you can download files, you can look up your email, you can do all kinds of great stuff on here. You can also go and just use regular apps. So you can go to the Windows Store and you can get apps like Netflix and Hulu and all the other great streaming media apps. You can also, you know, use Android apps. If you guys like Android apps like the Fire Stick has, you can actually go get BlueStacks, which is an emulator, and then you can actually download and run Android apps right on the Azul Access 3 so that you don't miss out on anything. All right, so we were able to take a look at the device and see what it looks like. I was able to tell you guys what I like about it. Let's actually go hook this thing up now and take a look around the device, see some of the specs, and just basically see how it performs. All right, so here we are, and we have the uh, the mini PC set up now. The Access Three, the Azul Access Three, is set up. So let's uh, let's just go here to our Windows section first of all, and let's go ahead and just check the specs on this thing. So let's go ahead and we'll click on Settings there, the little Settings gear. Now from the Settings window, we're going to go ahead and click on System, and we'll wait for this to open up, and we'll just scroll down. We'll check the storage and see what we have for storage here. So. We can see right here that this uh, the stick has 32 gigs on it, just built in. So like I said before, you can expand this if you like by adding a SD card in there. So a micro SD card or USB port so that you, a USB thumb drive so you have extra storage. But it looks like there is about 15 gigs left on there after the operating system. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go back over to our home screen there. And we'll go back over to, um, let's see, let's go back over to system again. And you can see that the resolution is at uh, full HD. So it's a full HD display, which is really nice. And it's in landscape mode right now. Now let's go ahead and we'll just go down to the about tab right there. We'll click that. And this is going to show us some other specs. So now we can see uh, more about the device here. And we can see that it has four gigs of RAM installed and we can see it's a 64-bit operating system and if we scroll down here we can see that it runs Windows 10 Pro which is really nice it was installed on 12.3.18 so it's a very recent uh, installation and we can see the uh, the type of processor right here it's an Intel Celeron N4100 with a, with a 1.10 uh, gigahertz uh, processor so uh, yeah there we go those are some of our specs here uh, it looks like we need to do a little bit of updating on here too since we have a little virus threat protection there that needs to be updated so uh, but yeah these are some of our specs here we're looking at about uh, 1.1 gigahertz processor 4 gigs of RAM and a 64-bit operating system which is the Windows 10 Pro now one of the things that I like to do with uh, new PCs I like to kind of see where their Wi-Fi is and how strong it is how fast it is so let's uh let's go ahead and go to our web browser here and we're going to go ahead and open up speedtest.net so we'll open that up there and I'm going to go ahead and just click go and see how well this thing performs how fast my internet speeds are on this device if the Wi-Fi uh, if the Wi-Fi card inside this little PC is good or bad or otherwise so let's see what it can do for me so yeah it's doing pretty good it's giving me about uh, about 150 right now so let's see if it goes up any higher yeah it's rolling that's uh that's pretty good um it's it's about 166 down and we'll see what it gives me up so yeah it's giving me about uh 30 up a little bit faster than 30 up so this is doing really good the wi-fi on this is is really really nice so you're going to be able to surf and uh enjoy 
uh, streaming on this device really, really nicely because it's going to have really strong Wi-Fi signals coming through with the, uh, with the connection that it's offering. So one of the things that I also like to do is see how well that uh, these devices play back 4K video. So uh, it's only outputting at 1080p, but a lot of people still have 4K content that they want to watch. So I'm going to see how this plays. So I downloaded a NASA 4K video here. Let me go ahead and minimize it. I saved it to my desktop here. So let's go ahead and uh, just open this up and we will see how this plays. And this is just a straight download. So I don't really know what it is, but we will find out here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we will click on the full screen button there and uh, send this into full screen. And there we go. Look at that. It's playing really smoothly. So yeah, this thing is uh, it's looking good. Um, it, it's not jittering. There's no hiccups or anything. It doesn't seem like it's, uh, it's doing any stuttering or anything. It seems like it's, uh, it's playing really nicely. Uh, actually, this, is, this apparently is a, a uh, 3D video. So um, I guess you can drag it around somehow. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So um, this is a 4K video from NASA, and it's playing really, really well. All right, so that is it. That is a look at the Azul Access 3 fanless mini PC. And this is a seriously nice device. It has all kinds of great ports on there. It's got dual USB ports. It has a micro SD card slot. It has an ethernet port. It has a full version of Windows 10 on there. You get a full web browser so you can stream all kinds of apps, anything from Windows apps, to uh, an emulator that lets you run Android apps. You can stream from websites. You can do all kinds of great stuff with this. You can do presentations. You can show slideshows. There's just so much you can do with the full Windows uh, version on this mini PC stick. So anyhow, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, I have a link in the video description where you guys can check it out or buy one yourself if you're interested. I'm also gonna have a link to my Amazon page so that you guys can see all the apps that I've reviewed. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.